I'm Marie. Welcome to Marie's Kitchen. I'm so glad you're back. Today we're making Easter morning French toast casserole. This casserole is warm and sweet. It's easy to serve and easy to make. And best of all, it gets rave reviews every time. My favorite thing about this casserole is that you can make it all the night before and then in the morning when it's always really hectic, you can just pop this in the oven for an hour and then it is ready to serve. There's no mess, no cleanup, just really wonderful smells in the kitchen and something that everyone will enjoy. I really hope you get to try this one. Let's get started. Real quick, let's go through the ingredients. First, you'll need one loaf, about 20 ounces of sliced bread. This is a brioche bread, which is great, or you could use a hollow or just a Texas toast. Whatever your favorite is, is just fine. Next is six eggs. We'll use two cups, half and half, one cup milk, two teaspoons Mexican vanilla, or just vanilla extract. This is my favorite Mexican vanilla. I get it on Amazon. You can see in this huge bottle, it's got great flavor and it'll last you forever. I can put a link in the description box if you'd like to check it out. Next is one half cup maple syrup. Then for the topping, we'll use a little cinnamon and a little brown sugar. And for the pan, we're gonna use about a tablespoon of butter. As far as equipment, it's really simple, just a bowl of some kind, a fork, and then a nine by 13 pan to bake it. First step, we'll grease the pan with some butter. You can use a baking spray if you prefer. I just like the flavor of butter. Now we'll set this aside and go ahead and cut up our bread. So I just leave the crust on. Some people cut it off. I don't mind it at all and it saves you a step. I won't use the tail piece. We'll set that aside, but I'll use all the rest and we're just gonna cut these into cubes. So just right down into about thirds here. And then we'll cut that into some cubes. And we can set that in the pan. Just toss that right in. Okay, we've got all our beautiful bread here in the pan. Now we're gonna whip up the custard and add that to it. For the custard, we'll start by mixing the egg real well. My kids love French toast, but I'm not always in the mood to make you know individual slices, so this is a great substitute. It's just as good, warm and sweet, but it's great for you know a big batch for a crowd especially. Okay, there's our egg. We'll pour that into our bowl here. Next is two cups, half and half, and that adds a really nice kind of richness to the French toast. Then one cup milk. Now we'll measure out two teaspoons Mexican vanilla, or just any vanilla extract is fine. Now we'll add one half cup maple syrup. I'm gonna reuse my measuring cup here and measure out one half cup maple syrup. This looks great. Pour that right in. And finally, a little pinch of salt just to balance out flavors. Then we'll give that a nice whisk. There's no clumps of yolk. It just is a really nice, smooth custard. Now we'll pour the custard over the bread. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of make sure all the bread got some of the liquid so it soaks it up. 
And this is very similar to a bread pudding, but that really is what French toast is. It's individual slices of kind of a, you know, bread soaked in custard. So you can call this a bread pudding, you can call it a French toast casserole, either way. I just call it delicious. Next, we'll add a little sprinkle of cinnamon to the top just to get a little warmth, a little extra flavor, just sprinkle that all over the top. All right, that is done. Now we'll take some tin foil, put that over top. And it goes in the refrigerator overnight. Now I did make one of these last night so we'd be able to bake it today. And so I have that here, it's been soaking overnight. We're preheating the oven to 350 degrees. I'll take off the foil. Looks really good. All the bread is nice and soaked in that delicious custard. Then we're gonna add some brown sugar to the topping just to kind of give it a little more warmth on top and then also a little kind of a sweet crunch on top. Okay, now this is ready to go in the oven. We're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for about 50 to 55 minutes. Now while that's baking, I wanna show you a really fun way to decorate your baked French toast, especially for Easter. You can also use these decorations for a cake or cupcakes or really any other dessert. So this is just a really fun one to know. What we have here is some orange candy melts and these are chocolate sort of discs that you can get at places like Michael's. They're usually Wilton brand candy melts and you can get them in all different colors and they kind of taste like white chocolate so they taste good. Um, we're just gonna melt that in the microwave so very easy. And then I've got some washed and dried strawberries here. You wanna dry them really well before you add the chocolate. Then we're gonna dip them in the chocolate, the candy melts, and we have the green top here. And then when you have this nice orange strawberry with the green top, it looks a little bit like a carrot. It's really easy, isn't that cute? If you want to, you can add some little orange sprinkles on top just to kind of really bring out the orange. Add some extra dimension too, cute. We'll do a few more. Now we'll let these dry and then they'll be ready to serve along with our baked French toast casserole. Okay, the French toast is done. We're gonna grab that out of the oven. This looks so good. It's all puffed up and golden on top. We're gonna let this cool for about at least 10 to 15 minutes so it kind of settles and then you can serve it. For serving, you can cut individual slices and then put a little chocolate covered strawberry on the side. And if you want, I have a few little candy eggs here you can put on top to make it extra festive. I also have some cute little Easter picks here that you can put on individual slices or you could decorate on top of the French toast. So cute. If you don't have the chocolate covered strawberries and eggs, you can dust with a little powdered sugar and garnish with some raspberries or blueberries. That is also delicious. Thanks so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. Today we made this easy, delicious, baked French toast casserole for Easter morning. You can decorate it with some chocolate covered carrot strawberries and some candy eggs, or simply dust with powdered sugar and garnish with fresh berries. This casserole is always a crowd pleaser and is so easy to make. I really hope you get to try this one. If you do, let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. We so appreciate your likes. And then hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I've got lots more videos coming up with easy recipes just like this, and I don't want you to miss any of them. For this recipe and more, check out my website, mariesaba.com. There you can go 
and print out all of my recipes on PDFs, then punch holes in them, put them in a binder, and make your very own Marie's Kitchen Cookbook for free. My goal is to give you some really easy recipes that turn out great every time so you can build some confidence in the kitchen and feel really inspired to share good food with people that you love. From my kitchen to yours, thank you.